Digital Marketing Radio, episode 222. How is artificial intelligence going to change selling on social media? DigitalMarketingRadio.com Broadcasting live on the Digital Marketing Radio Facebook page, this is the weekly show that prizes actionable advice from today's top digital marketers. Catch up with all the previous episodes at DigitalMarketingRadio.com The big interview with David Bain well, hello there, I'm David Bain, and today I'm joined by a man who is the co-founder of a personalized engagement platform that utilizes artificial intelligence to identify potential selling opportunities on social media. Welcome to DMR, Scott Lewis. Hey, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks for coming on, Scott. And you can find Scott over at kickfactory.com. So, um, Scott... Um, straight to it so what kind of impact do you think artificial uh, intelligence is going to have on social media marketing um over the next um few months or so yeah well yeah maybe before i get into that let me tell you a little bit about us and kind of how we got into artificial intelligence that sure. might make more sense as to to my opinion on the matter <laughs> um so kick factory uh, we we got into we got into artificial intelligence uh, kind of backed our way into it really we started off as a um, as a way for brands to engage with uh, with consumers one on one. We were looking for ways for people to uh, to be able to um, connect with consumers as they were having issues and kind of these micro moments in life. You know, think about it like um, think about it like you know if you're if you're hanging a picture on your wall at home, you're hammering away and you know, bam, you nail your thumb. You know, the first thing you do is you you don't go look for a band aid. You don't go look for um, you don't go look for an ice pack. You you just you yell, ouch! You know that hurts. Mm -hmm. And so we see this. Uh, we saw this opportunity with social media where that's become a um, that's become the default for people. So as people are having these micro moments in life, they're sharing that information on social media. So we said, wow, as a marketer, that might be a good a good way for us to capitalize and make some money, help some customers, help some people. And as we got into it, we quickly, quickly learned just how much information is being shared on social media and how difficult that is to keep up with if you're just, you know, if you're just humans and you're just brains and eyes kind of looking at uh, looking at every tweet and every Instagram post that comes across. And we learned that we needed a piece of technology that would help us kind of wrestle that to the ground. Um, I'll give you a quick example. So, you know, we work with a very large, uh, we work with a very large wireless carrier here in the States. And um, we, we look at about 15 million tweets a day for them um, to be able to send. There, there's about 11,000 uh, actual customers there to send from. But it's that artificial intelligence that allows us to separate the signal from the noise. Um, it, it wouldn't be possible to staff a team large enough to look at 15 million tweets. It, it would just be, it'd be insane. Sure. Um, it's, it's insane to do it at 11,000, but uh, you know, it's, it's, we're able to do that. So um, artificial intelligence for us really is the, the baseline that allows us to do the job that we're doing at a scale at which it makes sense for, for a brand to want to engage with people. Right. Okay. So essentially it's actually making big data useful. That's correct. Actionable is probably the, uh, the, the best word. Great, great, yeah. And um, I mean, where do you think we are now in terms of actually actively using artificial intelligence? Uh, are most businesses not even there in terms of just using it a little bit? Yes, I, I was listening to a podcast about a month ago, and one of the ladies made a, a reference to artificial intelligence is where the web was in 1993. You know, it was like, hey, there's a bunch of cool stuff we can do here. And I, you know, I think down the line, there's a lot of ways we can connect. But like, here's a cat video or, you know, here, here, here's just like, mm. here's some things that like, I don't really know what to do with it. And I feel like artificial intelligence is really in its infancy. You know, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of ways that we're using it as a society to, um, to garner information. But there's not a lot of ways yet that we're making that actionable. And, and that's really going to be the key. You know, you think about the amount of information that is, that is occurring, not just on social media, but just in terms of um, people, places, and things. Like, you know, you, the whole Internet of Things is creating these mounds and mounds of data where our stuff is talking to us and it's interacting with us. And places are interacting with us when, when you know, when we go places. And all of that stuff is creating an opportunity for a better, more cohesive world, a world that is allowing us to, to track our data better. 
but also to interact with it better. And so that's, you know, artificial intelligence to me is really going to grow as, as we see opportunities as people to make it actionable and as we see opportunities to make it um, more seamless, you know, more seamless in terms of the way that we're, uh, the, the way that we're interacting with it. So the artificial intelligence that you've been using, are you actually seeing active self-learning there as well? Yeah, so yeah, one, one simple example I can give of that is um, we, we utilize an NLP product um, and that, that we've created, and it knows the difference between people who say, I want to buy a pizza, and I want to buy a pizza and have it delivered to my bed. Those seem like very similar statements. I mean, this is just, I mean, this is a really simple example, but our customer doesn't make sales when people say they want to have it delivered to their bed. It's like people are almost too lazy to, uh, to, you know, to pick up their phone and actually make a, make an order. But there's something about that little phrase that people tack on the end that tells us, Hey, this isn't a customer. It looks like a customer. It seems like it's acting like a customer, but it's not. And the only way we've known that is through the repetition of, of, of understanding the, the big data around that little snippet of the world. And we're able to take that and apply that to many other instances around tickets and around, um, you know, other food products and around car tires and around all of these other things where, where our learnings um, extend beyond just what I learned there about a pizza. Like, you. Stupid little simple thing, but, it, you know, just it, it's making a massive difference. So basically it's finding phraseology that um, is incorporated in a request that has happened to result in a very low conversion rate and then it's associating that phraseology um, with that low conversion rate and learning from that. Yeah, Yeah, correct. And and, and then it's teaching us, you know, even other ways to say, well, how could... um, There are instances in that where we were able to talk to people and talk to them differently and um, you know how, how could we have talked to someone in such a way or engaged with someone in such a way that you know that caused them to take an action uh, on behalf of you know the brands that we're working with so it, it's just a fascinating study of human behavior flushed out over millions and millions and millions of rows of data so okay and you're focusing on artificial intelligence um, to, to a great degree from a social media perspective. So, I mean, are you, are you seeing that um, kind of sales opportunities on social media are vastly increasing nowadays? Yeah, I mean, so think back on the example that I gave of, you know, where you're, you're hammering away and you hit your thumb. Um, we have seen this, this new kind of point in time and a new point in the shopping journey where as you know, if you if you went to if you went to bed tonight and everything was fine with your car, and then you wake up tomorrow morning and you find that you have a flat tire, we're learning that people and, and we're seeing that people are posting that on social media, and that was a real tip off to us to say, well, I know that you have to fix your tire, you have to go to work today. That's a you're not going to stay home because you had a flat tire. You could call a Lyft or an Uber or you know whatever you're going to do, but you have to get your tire fixed eventually, and so. We are, we are utilizing that as an opportunity to engage with those customers at a different point in the shopping funnel and really augment their shopping. So we're seeing this, um, you know, you know we're, we're seeing this new, new point in time that social media has really created, but it's the artificial intelligence that we've baked in that's allowing us to actually pull out the right people, the right identifications, and then connect with them with the right engaging messaging. So, I mean, are you looking at the sales process over um, the, the whole thing over social media or, or um, uh, are you looking at companies that, um, that do face-to-face as well and social media is only part of the process? And it looks like Scott has frozen there for a second it looks like i'm still moving but scott says frozen maybe that particular question was just uh too shocking i'm not sure um scott if you can still hear me perhaps you can refresh your screen and uh, i'm sure you'll be back on in a second and as it happens occasionally in live video this is the great bonus section that video viewers get but of course will be edited out of the audio podcast so if you want to catch the audio podcast and not have um, these occasional 
glitches, then um, digitalmarketingradio.com slash iTunes. If you are on your iPhone or digitalmarketingradio.com slash Android, if you're on an Android type device, hopefully we will get Scott back again at some point. So we're broadcasting live at the moment to multiple places actually, to Twitter, Periscope, Facebook and also YouTube Live. So let's hope that we get Scott back in a second. But we'll hang around for Scott because there was some good information shared there. He certainly seems to know his stuff from uh, the impact that AI is having on social media. Maybe I can kick him out here um, and see if I can encourage him to come back in. Well, if he doesn't come back in in the next few minutes, what I will do is we'll probably carry on this conversation through, I guess, Skype or through some other medium. And if we do that, um, which I'm sure we will, then I'll edit the podcast together and we'll have a nice, slick, final version of uh, the podcast episode. So we'll give um, Scott another minute or so and see if he's emailed me at all. Doesn't seem to have done that. Maybe his internet connection has completely died. Let me refresh my other screen here. Yep. So I'm watching the live video on Facebook and I can see myself moving away and uh, Scott picture like. strange usually people come back fairly quickly I'm not sure if he's having a significant issue with internet connection there I'm going to check out my phone quickly here to see if we're broadcasting live on Periscope. Let's have a look at that just now. Do, 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 do. Certainly broadcasting live here. So hello to you on there. But we do not have a Scott. Well, actually, we do have a Scott, but that's another story. Okay, that's a bit of a strange one. Because I haven't received an email or anything like that. So I think what we're going to have to do is say goodbye and terminate this live broadcast. So um, if on the count of ten, Scott doesn't appear back, then I will terminate the live stream and we will hopefully resume the... Okay, 
I've got an, uh, an email from Scott saying, trying to get back online, not sure what happened. And that's sent from his iPhone. Mm-hmm. Yep, he has an internet gremlins challenge. So um, we'll give him another minute or two then, if that's the case. He's uh, He's fighting those gremlins. Have a quick sip of the vodka in the meantime. We can guarantee that as soon as I stop the screen, the stream, then he'll go back in and he'll be all right. So um, I want to give him as much opportunity as possible to to come back on the same stream. Well, well, how long, how long do we give it? Well, I'm afraid um, I got another email from Scott saying uh, he's having a significant challenge with his internet. So I think the best thing to do is to reschedule and um, try and start this one again at some point. So hopefully we'll do that um, maybe in the next week or so. So hopefully you can make it back for that. And I'm sure um, we'll have a a decent conversation when that happens. So I'm going to count down from 10 and if he doesn't appear by then then we'll switch off, we'll say goodbye and you know where to find us again in the future. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Aloha.